What's up guys, welcome to BlueBot Tech. Today we're gonna to be covering a super easy guide on how to set up a PAR motion sensor with your ESP32 or ESP8266 device. We're also gonna be going over how to set up your motion sensor in Node-RED, how to get it to trigger whenever it detects motion to turn on a light. And with that being said, let's get started. All right guys, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Home Assistant Web Browser. Now, if you don't have ESP Home set up already, what you're gonna do is go down to Supervisor, then you're gonna go to Add-on Store, you're gonna search for ESP Home, click it. Now, I already have mine installed and running currently, but you should, if you do not, you should see an Install button here. And what you'll do is you'll click it, you'll install it, and then once it's up and running, then you can click this Open Web UI. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click the plus sign. We're gonna add a device, give it any name that you want, as long as it's a lowercase with no spaces. Click next. So for this project, I'm using an ESP8266. So I'm gonna choose the generic 8266. Now if you're using a 32, you would probably wanna use the 32 generic. Click next. All right, so here we want to enter our Wi-Fi login information so our device can connect to our local network. Now the OTA access password is important because it prevents anyone from uploading anything to your devices without this password. All right, then we're going to hit submit. All right, so now that we added the device, now we need to go to ESPHome.io. And we're going to go down to PIR sensor. And on this page, it'll give you a lot of great information about your PIR sensor, like how to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor, how often the sensor will re-trigger, and then the pinouts and just a bunch of other information. And what we're looking for is this binary sensor information. We're gonna go ahead and copy that. Now we're gonna edit the sensor that we just added to ESP Home. And then you're gonna paste it in here. And as I mentioned before, I'm using an ESP8266 for this project, and I'm using GPIO pin 14 for the data connection. And then you can adjust the name of the device. For my purposes, I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. And then we're gonna click save, close, and we're gonna choose the physical USB connection to upload to this device. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit upload. All right, so now we have it completed. We can see its signal strength is looking pretty good. And some basic information about our device. All right, so now that we got everything set up, we're gonna go ahead and create a really simple node red flow that will trigger a light to turn on whenever motion is detected. So first, we're gonna go to our node red. And for this, the first thing that we're gonna be using is the event state node. This is for our PIR sensor. Give it whatever name you want. I have my PIR entity ID here, and I'm using a binary sensor, so this will be on or off instead of true or false. Then hit done. And then next, we're going to be using a current state node to determine whether or not the light is currently on or off. So I entered my light's entity ID here. Now, if the state is on, then you're going to route it to do nothing. If the light is off, we're gonna route it to the call service node to turn the light on. For here, we have the domain of light. Service is to turn on, as I mentioned, and then the entity ID for the light that we're gonna be adjusting. All right, so once the light is turned on, it's then gonna go to a 20 second timer. And then after the 20 seconds, it's going to call the service to turn the light off. And this is set up pretty much the same way as the call service to turn the light on just as turn off and that's it it's just that easy so we're going to click deploy to save any of these changes because if we move off of this page all of this will be lost let's remember to hit deploy on this all right so the sensor currently does not detect any motion so it is set it off all right so i'm going to go ahead and make some motion in front of the motion detector to set it off and there you go it checked whether or not that light was on or off and it was off so then it moved on to the call service to turn the light on 
And then after the 20 seconds, it did the service call to turn the light off. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please subscribe, leave a comment, drop a like if you enjoyed our content. We're really trying to grow as fast as possible. So anything you guys can do to help definitely is greatly appreciated. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.